Hey everyone, Valent Versatile here with a GTA 5 online guide video kind of talking about the Kaya Perico heist so right here my character will be heading inside the hangar part of Kaya Perico and there'll be your secondary loot can spawn there potentially on those tables right there for me it did not and you can actually you know zoom in with your camera and actually take the picture and scope out uh, the secondary loot and send it to Prevel that way. As long as you are able to see it from below, you don't actually need to use the forklift to get up there. But um, if you need, if you have loot up there that's good on for the hangar, you can use the forklift to carry these little boxes right here, as I show in this video. And then you would actually not position it where I am positioning here now, but at the that side on the left instead of here if you want to go up there and loot during the finale so I'm just showing you like um, if you're not comfortable doing that or you want to get a clearer view of the secondary loot you can always come up here and check doing the forklift method once you finish scoping out the area for this part of the hangar you want to go over to that that little shed I'm gonna show you in a bit and scope it out right I'm gonna fast forward some bit of the video to save time so basically yeah once you finish looting the hangar you want to head over to the north docks and just uh, grab the dirt bike uh, on and be on your way to the north docks so just make sure when you're driving along um, the roads of Kaya Perico, just avoid the guards and security camera and you should be okay. You can follow along the video by slowing the footage down if you want to see what exactly I want to do. But I think it's fairly straightforward. So I'm just going to fast forward the video. So once you reach the North Docks, uh, I fast forward this bit as uh, you actually don't need to scope out this uh, this area of for the secondary load because when when you go into the finale, there'll be guards nearby and patrolling these areas that is really difficult to loot this area without uh, boat cutters and boat cutters are quite hard to come by. So what I recommend is go to this little uh, lock up here. And just scope out this lockup, and that's it for your northern dock scope out, and you can proceed to the communications towers. So this lockup here is really good. You can actually loot this solo. I'll show you later in the finale. So I got un pretty unlucky, uh, as in terms of like, normally it could spawn up to three uh, loot on the table, but in this case it didn't. Only two loot on the table, and you have a pretty good chance for this uh, lockup. This is actually a two-man lockup to get Coca-Cola. I can't see the actual product, so you can, it's a pretty decent chance you get Coca-Cola in there, at least one stack. So this is where mostly you're gonna be wanting to scope, and mostly you probably get a higher likelihood of getting a good secondary loot in that area in the North Docks. So once you make your way all the way here to the checkpoint from the North Docks, you want to hit, hit accelerate as fast as you can and hit the wheelie and so you can jump over the checkpoint and just make your way to the communications tower on the bike. This will be the fastest way to scope out uh, Cayo Perico.
if you're doing Kyoprico solo and without glitches, you just need to um, scope out the primary target and you're done. If you're doing it with another person, you just need to scope out the compound. That's it for Kyoprico. Uh, scope out. You just need to set your spawn point as the Kotsaka and you can just find new session, find new invite only session and you're done. Right, moving along to your approach vehicle, you're gonna select long fin and right here at the canals you can go to the helipad if you don't have the sparrow if you're a beginner you can come to this location on the map and you can grab a heli yourself a helicopter to make the job faster so once you reach the location prev will tell you hey these are some areas where the truck cabs and phantom wedge are so I'm going to show you two locations, the Phantom Wedge, where it's by itself, and the Truck Cab, where there's two of them. So for the Phantom Wedge one, I recommend not going for it. It will make uh, clearing traffic a bit easier, but it's not worth it, as it takes longer to reach the location, and you need to fight more enemies. Whereas the Truck Cab, you just need to go over there, you just need to kill one security guard, and then you can steal a truck cab and you can immediately go over there. It's much faster. But if you still want to, yeah, just come over here and shoot the guy on the turret of the technical and dispose of these guys. Make sure you have like an armored vehicle like the Duke of Death, which I recommend. It's free. Uh, or the armored Kuruma if you have one. So if you don't have your own Phantom Wedge, what I recommend is to come to this two truck cab area and find a security guy and just take him out. You know, I just choose to punch that guy. Just take him out. And that's pretty much it. These workers pretty much have no guns. You they have they are no match for you at all. So yeah. That's why I recommend you just come here and Eliminate the security guard and just steal the truck cap and you're good to go. So if you actually own a Phantom Wedge, you can actually call it in and Pavel will actually say something unique about it when you get in. You know what I like about you, Captain? You bring your own knife to a knife fight and your own truck, huh? So for the rest of this bit, I'm just going to speed up the footage. So basically, once you get your truck, just hook up to the back of the little boat fin and make sure you drive out of the area. And then you can just suicide and then just lose the cops that way and then just drive the cab all the way to the drop off point. And that's pretty much what you need to do for the approach vehicle. So depending on what loot you have, you'll either get the plasma cutter or the safe codes for your primary target. In this case, I got the plasma cutter because I got the pink diamond. So for the plasma cutter, just go enter the room, take a picture of the whole area and just leave. Once Prevo has uh, identified the location of the plasma car, make sure you hit the checkpoint of the location. Like in this case, it's Rockford Hills. Make sure to hit that checkpoint. I have done the prep setup where I did not hit the checkpoint and I did steal the plasma cutter and went back all the way to the Kotsaka. And it did not actually count as a completion and I had to go all the way back to do the checkpoint again so make sure to hit the checkpoint and avoid yourself that trouble so just kill everybody take the plasma cutter and bring it back to the submarine so you add the prep at the fingerprint cloner what you want to do is I recommend going around the side of the building to find the circuit box and switch it off so that you can get a 
drop on your enemy. It wastes a little bit of time, but I think it would be worth it to stay a little safer. You can put on some armor as well, and once you enter, the enemies won't be alerted to your presence immediately. You can strike first and basically kill everybody with while well, taking minimal damage. That's what I would recommend. And just do this little hack. And you figure out the fingerprint cloner location. So once you figure out the location of the fingerprint cloner, go to the archive, go ahead, go to the facility and just destroy the CCTV camera and walk in. It will always be the back of the room. Back of the room. But I'm going to show you what happens if you don't shoot the camera and you just go straight in. So make yeah so make sure you shoot out the CCTV camera and then just go to the back of the room so I'm, I'm just showing you like what would happen if you didn't so it will always be in this tree around this area at the back and then you just walk out and fly back with the fingerprint cloner to the Kotsaka and you're done so what actually happens is that enemies will be called in and you know that's, you know, potentially, you know, enemies shooting at you and slowing you down when you can just straight away just go back without anybody bothering you. So make sure to shoot the CCTV and you'll be fine. So for the cutting torch, what I recommend, just go to the construction site and just kill everybody and just leave. You honestly don't need the bother of the stuff. Just kill everyone, take the torch and you're done. Like, it, it just wastes so much time trying to be sneaky and avoid detection and all that. You might as well just shoot everybody and take it by force, so. So yeah, the cutting torch will look like that, the blue little... Uh, handle and with a long barrel and grab it and you're out of there this mission done so if you're a beginner what you can do like you can look the side of the building see Penris right here the building I'm headed towards for the when you're doing the unmarked weapons you want to go to the rooftop it's a lot easier just head to the rooftop land and then just enter the building, kill everybody, steal the weapons, and go back to the planning board, and you're pretty much done. Yeah. Okay, so I will say one more thing before I move on to the next part. So, when you're exiting, you can go back to your rooftop. Make sure to kill the helicopter or and be very careful not to die on the rooftop. When you die, you drop the weapons on the rooftop, and it will be a pain in the ass to go retrieve it. So... Make sure to um, kill the gunners on the buzzards when they're attacking you to disarm the chopper and you'll be okay. And then if your sparrow isn't flipped over like mine, you could um, just take your chopper back into the Kotsaka and you're pretty much done with the arm mark weapons. Right, once you've done all your prep, you can begin your finale. So you want the approach vehicle to be long fin, infiltration point. For me, it was North Docks. If you have better loot in the hangar, you can select Main Dock. And X view exit point doesn't matter. I chose daytime because it's easier to see. And you want the aggressor loadout. That is the recommended loadout. But you can go with whatever weapon you feel comfortable. Um, so yeah, a couple things to talk about. Um, so for me, it was the North Docks that I had better loot. So I, w I would select the North Docks as the infiltration point and then immediately head to the north docks to start looting it now if you had the better loot at the hangar or best possible loot is double coca-cola you know and if you already scope it out in the hangar you can immediately just uh, not even scope the north docks and just go ahead and scope out the uh, main objective 
when you go to the communication style of doing your gather intel mission so right coming back to the north dock so what you want to do is head to the left side and make sure to just go all the way far left and wait for a guard to come by when he's all the way to um, the right when he comes around like when he walks to the left to the right of where you're looking right now where I'm looking right now so you can see you can kind of see the guard is coming he's coming around he doesn't for some reason he doesn't show up on radar so be careful of this guy he's always there so yeah just kill him and take out the security camera for some reason it's glitch and there's two of them stacked as you can see double security camera very weird and then this actually is supposed to be a two man but you can just open the door yourself and Prevo even mentions that hey you can only access this uh, lockup if there's two people but for some reason it's bugged and you can just do it yourself you can just press right on the d-pad and it will open for you so for me I was unlucky and only got two loot on the table instead of all three tables so that means I need to loot elsewhere to get a uh, full loot back so the other loot in the north docks are actually I think pretty impossible let me know in the comments below if it's actually possible to loot it without alerting the guards because I've done it a few times and I couldn't figure out a way even with boat cutters I think um, you need to kill a guard otherwise they will spot you and see the that you broke into the lockup to steal loot so I, I really think that if you don't have all three you can go around go back to the hangar and steal more loot that will be a bit slower than just hitting like either hangar or north docks since I was unlucky I needed to go to the hangar to finish filling my loot back so I might as well show you the hangar route while I'm at it so we're gonna talk about a little bit about the secondary loot you always want to finish looting your secondary loot and then going for the primary target it's a lot easier you can just finish looting your secondary targets and go to the primary target grab it and then just make your way out of Cayo Perico it's pretty easy instead of uh, taking the primary target and then you have to go around the island to steal secondary loot and then make it out I think it's much more um, easier looting the secondary targets and then going for the primary target and also um, yeah going for these locations the hangar and the north docks are a little bit easier than doing the glitch at the at the compound uh, you know the the solo goal glitch at a compound is quite tricky you need to understand a few game mechanics for Kaya Perico Heist so anyways so just park your boat here make sure you don't um, beach or dock the boat on shore otherwise it despawn I heard so make sure it's in the water and not beached so make your way towards the hangar shoot that guy shoot that guard on the left and if so you would go into the hangar and loot it and I talk to you about the forklift if you need to loot the top of that hangar in there uh, and then if you wanted a and if you still need to loot like for better loot you would hit down here to the lockup shoot that guard shoot this camera and then you can safely come over here and make sure that guard patrolling near this area is away before you start using the cutting torch otherwise he'll hear you and uh, he would somehow detect you so anyways so for me I just go over here immediately and loot the grass and go back to my boat but if it was the hangar you would go into the hangar first loot the top of the hangar come to where I was at looting and that will be your 
hangar route, so to speak. It depends. Sometimes if you have double Coca-Cola in that one spot, you don't need to come over to the other spot, you know. So it really depends on what you get for the scope out. So if you are unlucky like me, you may not make it for the Elite Challenge, but I'll leave it as a surprise whether I do make it for the Elite Challenge with the unlucky um, looting spawn. So take keep that in mind. But for beginners, um, I don't recommend going for the Elite Challenge. After you've done it a couple of times, then you could try to aim uh, for the Elite Challenge. That earn you another extra 100k, which is really nice, especially with when you keep doing Kaya Periko, there's the fencing fee to cover. So the Elite Challenge nicely covers that so you can earn a little bit more for yourself. So anyways, so once you finish filling up your loot bag, go ahead and head over to the compound. Once you reach the compound, just jump off the boat, equip your rebreather left on the D-pad and go ahead and go over to the sewer grate and start burning right through it. So for me personally, I like to swipe left and right when it's the horizontal bar. And for the vertical bar, I like to go point to point. That's just me. It seems to be the fastest for me at least. Like that. Right, while uh, my character Valkyrie, her name is Valkyrie, is swimming and making her way to the compound. You want to follow this specific route to get to the compound without being spotted. So for the drainage tunnel, this is the route you want to take. So. Right, you want to go up the stairs, go left, go cut through this courtyard, cut through here, make your way to the left, climb over this, and make sure to stop here as the guard right there, as a guard right there, you can see on your mini map, make your way up the stairs, don't kill this guy just yet, you will kill him later, to make things easier for you, go up these stairs, and when this guard comes around, you can knock him out with a melee attack. Make sure it's a melee attack. If you shoot, the guards below will actually hear the gunshot. So, yeah. Melee attack that guy. Go ahead and open up the safe over there. And do your little hacking. Uh, do your best to try to do the hacking you will need to get used to this when, when you're a beginner a couple of times to get familiar of how to do the little um, fingerprint matching thing and once that's done you take the elevator down to the vault and then you can you So here, for me, is the plasma cutter. Uh, you would just build it up. Make sure it's all the way, just, you know, hit the right trigger all the way and be right before it overheats, let it go. Repeat this process multiple times and you'll get right through. If you get the safe codes, let's say Barra Bonds or Mini Madrazos file if you do it the first time, then Pravo will text you the safe code, try to remember the safe code, enter it, and Grab the primary target and make your way out. So from here, go back the way you came. Just go follow the, go back down the staircase. 
uh, make sure you have the machine pistol equipped when this guard right here comes over this little alley here I guess kill him for single shot to the back of his head make your way over here to the compound main gate make sure you go to the right a little bit so that the guard won't detect you and just Right, once you're done watching the unskippable cutscene, come to this guard with the bike right next to him, shoot him, take the bike. Now if you're fast enough, you don't have to kill the upcoming guard that I show that I kill. The guy by the 4x4. Four four. You can immediately leave the compound, but if you're not so quick or you don't want to stress about it, just come over here, kill this guy by the 4x4, four four, and then you can just safely and take your time to just go over to this cliff side and just drive off make sure to also hit the wheelie so you can fly further i made that mistake and didn't go as far as i intend to and just swim out to the triple mine above the bone pile and yeah you have escaped Cayo perico no problem So yeah, even if you uh, had to go to the hangar like me uh, after hitting the northern docks, you still can make the elite challenge if you're fast enough. So there you go. That's how you do the Cayo Perico heist. I hope you find this guy helpful. If it did, please leave a like and share. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. And I'll catch you all later. Peace out.